Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this baby dress for baby girls between zero and three months. In this same tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to crochet the matching headband, so I hope you like it. Now, the little dress along with the headband is for baby girls between zero and three months, but you can also make it smaller or bigger. I'd say for a newborn baby up to nine to 12 months. All you have to do is just click the information box below. There, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, at the end of the tutorial, I leave you the finished measurements, and remember, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Now, comment below and let me know if you'd like me to show you how to crochet the matching diaper cover or the matching baby booties. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Okay, so let's get started, but first, don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. To begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this cotton yarn. This is a number three yarn. You can also use DK weight yarn or eight ply. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Premier Cotton Sprout. It's 100% cotton in this color blush. So here, to begin, I have 57 chains. This chain here is measuring about 10.5 inches, which is about 26.5 centimeters. If you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. Now, to begin, on the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet. The three chains here at the beginning counts as one double crochet, so, so far I have two into the next chain i'm going to make another double crochet and here i'm going to make a total of seven double crochets so that's three four five six seven I have seven double crochets, including the three chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This here is going to be one of the front panels. Now we're going to chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. Now this next section is going to be the sleeves and we're going to make a total of 13 double crochets. So that's two into the next three and i'm going to continue like this until i have 13 double crochets continue and i'll meet you back once we have 13 double crochets i finished making these 13 double crochets now chain two and into the next chain make a double crochet now here we're making the back side and we're going to make a total of 15 double crochets so there's two into the next, that's three and so on. Continue until you have 15 double crochets. I finished making these 15 double crochets. Now chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. Here we're going to make a total of 13 double crochets again for the other sleeve. So continue and make these 13 double crochets. I have 13 double crochets, now chain two, and into the next chain, make a double crochet. Here we're going to finish with these last seven double crochets. So continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished this first row, I finished making these last seven double crochets. For this first row, I have 55 double crochets. We have seven double crochets, then we have 13, 15, 13 and then seven including the three chains so that's a total of 55 double crochets now for the second row chain two and turn these two chains from here on never count as a stitch they're just there so that we have a nice straight line here once we finish the yoke now what i'm going to do here in the second row is i'm going to make a double crochet on top of the first double crochet this one here make a double crochet on top of the second double crochet now chain one skip one double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one skip
skip one double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one and then skip the last double crochet for this front panel and inside the chain two space you're going to always make two double crochets one chain two double crochets now chain one skip the first double crochet for this next section and into the second make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one and here's the second corner again make two double crochets chain one two double crochets chain two double crochets and then you're going to continue with the same thing chain one skip the first double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one skip double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one continue finish this second row each one of the corners you're going to do the exact same thing i'll meet you at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I have to make one last double crochet into the third chain. Remember, we have three chains here, so into the last chain, so into the last chain, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row with a total of 43 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember, the two chains never count as a stitch. Now for this third row, what we're going to do is we're going to make double crochets on top of the double crochets and inside the chain space. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. On top of the next, a double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make a double crochet and so on. I'm going to do this until I come to the first corner. So here's the corner. I have two double crochets before I get to the chain one space. Make a double crochet on top of each one and inside the chain one space of this first corner, make a fan of two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. This is what you're going to do into each one of the corners. A fan, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then I have these two double crochets, so make a double crochet on each. Then I have a chain space, make a double crochet, and then continue in this way, making double crochets into the double crochets and the chain one spaces. And for each one of the corners, you're going to do the exact same thing I just did here. Continue and finish this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I finished by making a double crochet into the last double crochet not the chains remember the chains do not count if i count each one of the double crochets i have a total of 87 double crochets for this third row now for the fourth row chain two and turn the two chains never count as a stitch now in this row i'm going to repeat the same thing i did for the second row so here beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet into the second double crochet make a double crochet now when we do this row where we do double crochet separated by one chain here at the beginning we always start with two double crochets and then we chain one and then skip one and into the next a double crochet and we always finish with two double crochets just like we did here see two double crochets now chain one skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one now this is the last double crochet then we have the chain one space into each one of the chain one spaces you're going to do the same thing you're just going to make a fan two double crochets chain one two double crochets 
Now chain one, skip this first double crochet for this side and into the second one, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one, and so on. This is all we're going to do for this fourth row. For each one of the corners, you're going to do the exact same thing I just did here. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then start in the same way. Continue, and I will meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 59 double crochets separated by one chain. Now here at the end, I finished by making two double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. In this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the third row, which is one double crochet on top of each one of the double crochets and into the chain one space. So here to begin on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. On top of the second one, make a double crochet. And into the chain one space here, make a double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue until I come to the first corner. Okay, so here's the first corner, here's the first chain one space. So into this space, you're going to make a fan. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then continue along for this other side and do the same thing. One double crochet on each one of the double crochets and into the chain one space until you come to the second corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing that I did here. Continue and finish this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 119 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to do the same thing we did here for the fourth row. So beginning into the first two double crochets, make a double crochet on each. So one and two. Chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next, make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one i'm going to continue like this until i come to the first corner now here's the corner skip the last double crochet make sure you chain one here and inside this chain one space make your fan And then you're going to continue with the same thing. Chain one, skip one double crochet and into this second one here, make a double crochet chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one. Continue like this to the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 75 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. In this row, we're going to repeat this row of double crochets. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. On top of the next, a double crochet. And into the chain one space, a double crochet. This is all I'm going to do until I come to the first corner where I'm going to show you what you need to do. Okay, so here's the first corner inside this chain one space. You're going to make a fan. And then continue for the other side, just doing the same thing. Double crochets. Okay, continue like this and I will meet you at the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 151 double crochets. Now the yoke is done and this is what it looks like. 
Now, this part here is measuring right across. If you measure it, it's measuring about 9.5 centimeters, which is about 3.75 inches. So now what we're going to do to complete this seventh row is join to the first double crochet of this row. Like this, not the chains, but the first double crochet. Just join with a slip stitch. Now, what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to separate the sleeves. I'm going to start counting rows from here on because we're separating the sleeves. I like to do that. That way I can tell you exactly how many rows I'm going to do from here on. Now, for row one, chain two, and into this same stitch where you did the slip stitch, make a double crochet, chain one skip the next double crochet and into this third double crochet see we have one two three into this third double crochet make a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and so on i'm going to do this until i come to the first corner where i'm going to separate the sleeves Okay, so here's my last double crochet before my chain one space here. I have, let's see, the two chains here do not count. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets separated by one chain. Now, chain one, and into this chain one space of so this first corner, make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, then chain four skip these double crochets and into the second corner inside the chain one space make a v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet and this is how we divide the sleeves and that's what it looks like if you want to add more chains here you can for the size that i'm making this for i think four chains is enough now to continue on with this other side we're going to chain one then we're going to make a double crochet into this first double crochet right here, right there, and make a chain, skip one and into the next, a double crochet, chain one, skip one and into the next, double crochet, chain one, and so on. You're going to continue like this until you come to the third corner right here where we are going to divide the second sleeve. I'll meet you right here. Okay, I finished making these double crochets. I have one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 double crochets here for this part. Now, chain one and inside this chain one space, make a V stitch. To separate the sleeve, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip these double crochets and into this fourth corner here inside the chain one space make a v-stitch and here's the second sleeve now to finish this row chain one and into this first double crochet for this side right there make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one continue and finish this first row okay i'm here at the end of this first row this is where we divided the sleeves up to here i have a total of 48 double crochets now here at the end do not chain one at the end just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finished this first row with a total of 48 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the second row, chain one and into this same stitch where I did the slip stitch, make a single crochet. Now chain one and into this first chain one space here, make four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain one into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one into the next chain one space makes four double crochets
chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, four double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, four double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, four double crochets. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, four double crochets into this last chain one space. And this part here is done. I have two, four, six shell stitches here, chain one, and right in the middle here of these four chains, just insert your hook like this and make a single crochet, chain one, and then I have a first chain one space here, make four double crochets. Chain one, into the next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain one, and then make four double crochets. From here on, you're just going to continue in the same way, alternating between four double crochets chain one and then a single crochet. So chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then again, four double crochets. Continue like this for this part and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these shells. I have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for this front side here. Now chain one and right under the sleeve where we have the four chains, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the first chain one space here for this other side, make four double crochets. Chain one, into this next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next four double crochets. Continue and finish this second row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 24 shell stitches. Now here at the end, chain one, and to finish, go here on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row with a total of 24 shell stitches. Now for the third row, turn. We have the first shell stitch. We have four double crochets into the first double crochet insert your hook like this, grab a loop, and make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three, these three chains here counts as one double crochet, into the second double crochet work a front post double crochet, chain one, and into the third and fourth double crochet work a front post double crochet on each double crochet. That's what it looks like. Now we have the second shell stitch. We have four double crochets into the first and the second double crochet. Work a front post double crochet on each. Chain one into the third and fourth double crochet. Work a front post double crochet on each. Again, we have the third shell into the first and second double crochet, work a front post double crochet on each. Chain one and finish with two front post double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for this third row and this is what it looks like from the front side. Continue and finish this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. In this row, we have done front post double crochets. And if I count each one of the double crochets, including the three chains, I have a total of 96 double crochets. Now to finish this row, we're going to go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. 
Now for the fourth row, chain one and turn. Now for this fourth row, we're going to start with a single crochet and I'm going to do my single crochet right here into this first space right there. Make a single crochet, chain one, and inside each one of the chain one spaces, you're going to make six double crochets. Now these shells here are going to have six double crochets. That's, let's see, that's four, five, six double crochets, chain one, in between the two fans here, look right there, make a single crochet, chain one, into the next chain one space, again make six double crochets. five, six, chain one in between these two fans, so you can see them right there. Make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next chain one space, make six double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. So continue and I will meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did these shells with six double crochets separated by one single crochet. I have a total of 24. Now to finish this row, chain one here at the end and go on top of the first single crochet to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the fourth row. Now from here on, we're going to repeat the fourth row and the fifth row. So for the fifth row, you're going to turn and we have the first shell stitch. We have six double crochets into the first double crochet of this shell. Insert your hook like this and work a front post slip stitch. Now, chain three. These three chains here counts as your first double crochet. Now into the next two double crochets, make a front post double crochet on each one chain one and into these next three double crochets work a front post double crochet on each one again we have the next shell we have six double crochets into the first three double crochets work one front post double crochet on each one chain one and finish by making one front post double crochet into these three double crochets here. Again, we have the third shell. We have six double crochets into the first three double crochets. Work one front post double crochet on each one. Chain one and one front post double crochet on each one of these three double crochets that are remaining. So for each shell stitch, you're going to make six front post double crochets, three on one side, chain one, and then three on the other side. And this is what it looks like from the back, and here's the front. Continue and finish this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we did front post double crochets. If we count each one of the double crochets, I have a total of 144 double crochets, including the three chains here at the beginning. Now to finish this row, you're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fifth row. Now from here on, we're going to repeat these last two rows that I showed you, the fourth row and the fifth row. So for the sixth row, I have to repeat the same thing I did for the fourth row. So we're going to chain one and turn. Now into this first space that we see right here, we have the three double crochets and then the chain one right here, right before that, we're going to make a single crochet. This is how you're going to start 
the row of your shell stitches. Now chain one and inside the chain one space you're going to make six double crochets. That's three, four, five, six, chain one, and in between right here where we have this space between these two fans right here, make a single crochet, chain one, inside the chain one space here, make six double crochets again. Chain one, single crochet between the two, chain one, and again, six double crochets. Continue like this for this sixth row. I will meet you here at the end to show you once again how to finish this row and then how to start your next row, the row of front post double crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we did our shell stitches, which consist of six double crochets, and in between we have a single crochet. Now I have a total of 24 shell stitches. To finish here at the end, I have one chain, and we're going to go here where we have the single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the sixth row. Now, as I mentioned, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows, this row of shell stitches and then the row of front post double crochet. So for the seventh row, I need to do the row of front post double crochets. So to do this, I'm going to turn like this. Now you can also chain one and turn, it's okay, but just be consistent. I'm not going to chain one, I'm just going to turn. So here to begin, we're going to go here to the first shell and into the first double crochet here, insert your hook like this and make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three, these three chains count as one double crochet and here into the next two double crochets, I'm going to work a front post double crochet on each one. Chain one, and into these last three double crochets, make a front post double crochet on each one. And this is how you're going to start this row of front post double crochets. Now we have the second shell, we have six double crochets. Into these three double crochets here, make one front post double crochet on each one. Chain one, and then into these last three double crochets, work one front post double crochet on each one. And that's all you're going to do for this seventh row. And that's what it looks like. Now, when you finish this row, you're going to join here to the side where we have these three chains with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one, turn, and then make a single crochet into that first space that's going to be between these two stitches here, and then repeat the row of uh, shell stitches. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on. It all depends how long I want my little dress to be. So continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to have, and all you're doing is just repeating these last two rows. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the skirt of this little dress. I did a total of 20 pattern rows. So beginning here, up to here, there's 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 rows, plus the row here where we divided the sleeves. So that's a total of 21 rows. Now, what I did here at the end was I finished with this row where we do front post double crochets. Um, before we continue, it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of this last row. This part here is measuring about 29.5 centimeters, which is about 11.5 inches. If you want to make this longer, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, I'm going to do a little border here around. It's optional if you want to leave it like this. It also looks very nice. Or you can even do the fan row and it should also look nice um, as the last row. So here, this is the back side, this is the front, so we're going to go right here. With this white yarn here, I'm going to go into this 
uh, space here between these two double crochets. So this is where we finished. We're going to skip this space and into this space between these two double crochets right there. I'm going to grab a loop like this and I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Between these two double crochets here, make a slip stitch, chain three. In the chain one space, make a slip stitch, chain three. Between the next two double crochets, make a slip stitch, chain three. Slip stitch between the next two double crochets. And now to jump to the next fan here, just skip this space and these next two double crochets, make a slip stitch, then chain three, and then do the same thing. Chain three, slip stitch. Chain three, slip stitch between the next two double crochets. Chain three, slip stitch, and then jump to the first chain two space of the next fan and make a slip stitch. And then continue with the same thing. And this is what it looks like. That's all we're going to do for this last row, so continue on, I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. I just joined here to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Look how beautiful this looks and it's so simple to do. Now this is the back side and here's the front. Look how beautiful that looks. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to do the sleeves. Here I went ahead and already did one. All I did here was join here to the side on this side from the back and then I worked around to the front and finished here at the end. So for this side, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start here in the front, go around the back and finish here. So that's the only difference. You're going to do it exactly in the same way. And to do this here, we're going to go right here into this corner. This is where we divided the sleeve. So right into this same corner right there, insert your hook. I'm using the same hook, three millimeter with this um, off white color yarn. And all you're going to do here is chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip two double crochets, one, two, and right in between here, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Again, chain four. Make sure that these chains are nice and tight. That way, this part here is going to look very beautiful. Now again, skip one, two, and in the middle here, make a slip stitch. You can also chain three if you prefer. It's going to be a smaller stitch. I think four chains is fine. Skip two, and in the middle here, between the two double crochets, make a slip stitch, chain four, between these two, make a slip stitch, chain four, skip two, and between the two, make a slip stitch. That's all we're going to do, and that's what it looks like. Now, continue all around. I'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish here this row, and then we're going to start on the neckline. Okay, I'm here at this other end of the sleeve. Now here at the end, I'm going to skip three instead of two, and I'm just going to insert my hook here into this corner space and make a slip stitch. So I wanted to show you here that we're not going to be able to skip two because we have three here at the end. Now we're going to do the same thing here to finish. So chain four and right here into this space make a slip stitch and here on this other side make a slip stitch here on the other side of the single crochet chain four one two three Let's see one two three four and go into this same corner where we started and join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing I just did here. You're going to do it here on this other side. You're just going to start here 
from the back towards the front and then finish here on this corner. Continue finish this side and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to finish the neckline. Okay, so now that we did the sleeves, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this like this. This is the back side, so we're going to go here to the left side and we're going to make slip stitches all around the neckline. So I'm going to do this using this white yarn, but after I'm done, I'm going to see how it looks. If I don't like it, um, then I'm going to use this pink yarn, which is the same color here. So I'm going to start with this white and we'll see how it looks. You'll see the finished dress at the end. Now here, insert your hook on top of this into this first stitch here. This is where we start it. Here's my yarn. So just grab a loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now, if you want to leave the neckline like this, it's fine. I'm just going to do slip stitches all around. So here, chain one and into the next stitch here, which is these are stitches that were left from when we did the chain. So make a slip stitch into the next, a slip stitch, and so on. This is all I'm going to do, just slip stitches into each one of these stitches all around. And what the slip stitches do is it creates this nice little chain all around and that'll give it a nicer finish. Okay, so continue all around and I will meet you right about here at this other end to show you how we're going to finish this uh, part here in the back. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the collar. I finished making my slip stitches all around and this is what it looks like. Now, we're going to continue along this side here. So here, chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now we're going to make a buttonhole. I'm only going to make one right here. So to do this, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to insert my hook right into this first row right there and make a single crochet. So these chains here, the two chains is the buttonhole. And then I did a single crochet into this first row. Then I'm going to continue along here we have this row here where we have two double crochets, so make two single crochets there. And then we have the row where we started with two chains. Just make one single crochet there into the double crochet, make two into the row of, of chains, make one, then two, and then one right here. So let me count these single crochets for you. So we have the first single crochet, then we did two chains, and then we have the single crochets. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochets. Now right here, right in the very center where we joined, I'm going to also make a single crochet, and then I'm going to work my way up and make the same number of single crochets that I had here, which was ten single crochets. So here, make two, into the next one, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And then go here on to this last stitch here and join with a slip stitch. Let's see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good. I think it is. Here's the buttonhole right here. And I'm just going to sew a little button here on this side. And that's how it should look afterwards. I think that's pretty good. Now, if you notice that the neckline is a tiny bit small, then don't do the slip stitches. The slip stitches tend to shrink this part here a bit, but I think for the size that we're making this for, it should be okay. Okay, so I'm going to cut my yarn, hide my ends. I'm going to attach a little button here, and then I'm going to come back and show you the finished dress. 
Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end that's just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And the little dress is all done. This is the neckline. Now here I went ahead and sewed in my little button. These are the buttons that I used. Let's see, these are 10 millimeter buttons and I purchased these from Hobby Lobby. Now this is the back and here is the front look how adorable this little dress is this is for my baby niece she's about two weeks old and this fits perfect on her here in the center i went ahead and added this little bow i just uh, went to youtube and i looked um, how to make a bow and um, i just did it based on that tutorial that i found so you can also do the same all i did here also was just add a little uh, flower here these are the flowers that i used these are pre-made and i purchased these from from Joann's. So you can do the same thing. Now here in the center I went ahead and weaved in this ribbon. Uh, it's this ribbon here. It's 3 16 of an inch. Now the little dress it's all done. Look how adorable this is. I absolutely love love this stitch and it's so easy to make. Now if you want to make it for a newborn or a slightly smaller baby you can. You can just use a 2.5 millimeter hook. Now also if you want to make it slightly bigger just look down here in the information box. I'm going to write uh, which hook size you can use to make it slightly bigger as well. Okay so now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the shoulder to the end here of the last row it's measuring about 29.5 centimeters which is about 11.5 inches and here around the waist it's measuring about 43 centimeters which is about 17 inches so based on these measurements this little dress here is for baby girl between zero and three months old now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the matching headband so continue watching and then i'll meet you back to show you the little dress again and show you the finished headband Okay, so now that we finished making the little dress, I'm going to show you how to make this little headband. I'm going to use the same hook. This is a three millimeter hook and I'm using the same yarn. This is cotton yarn number three. So here to begin, I have 58 chains. To begin on the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four. Right here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make double crochets on each one of the chains. Continue, finish this first row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 56 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. In this row, all we're going to do are single crochets on top of the double crochet. So beginning on top of the first one, make your first single crochet, single crochet on top of the next, single crochet on top of the next and so on so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay i'm here at the end i have 56 single crochets we're going to continue all around this other side so to do this we're going to chain one and into this chain three space we have the three chains and into this space right here make two single crochets one and two now chain one we're going to go here on this side now and into each one of these chain spaces right here we're going to make single crochets along this other side now like this so into each one of these remaining chains we're going to make one single crochet and we're going to finish with 56 single crochets here continue along finish this side and I will meet you here at this other end. I'm here at this other end. I finished making single crochets along this other side. I have 56 single crochets as well. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to go right here where we have this double crochet and make two single crochets here. One and two. Chain one again, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this row here is done. That's what it looks like so far. Now, with this pink yarn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this first single crochet, which is the same one where I joined with a slip stitch, grab a loop here, and chain three. One, two, three. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three 
skip one and into the next a slip stitch this is how i'm going to continue all the way to this other end i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end here we're just going to continue in the same ways chain three skip one and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch chain three again and skip one and into the next a slip stitch this is all we're going to do until we finish this row i'll meet you here at the end right here you're just going to join with a slip stitch to the beginning cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you the finished headband okay i finished making this last row all i did here was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop and my headband is all done now i went ahead and hid all of my ends and here it is this is what it looks like here's my headband now the little bow i did it in the exact same way i did this one just um, go to youtube here and look how to make a bow and you'll find plenty of tutorials there which is what i did and then i just added this little flower here to match the little dress and here it is that's all i did to the little headband um, the ribbon that i used here is the same one that i used uh, for the waist which is this one here it's um, 3 16th of an inch and the little set is all done comment below and let me know if you want me to make a matching diaper cover or maybe uh, the matching baby booties so for now this has been today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time